us are friends from all over the world. Answering so many requests, we have prepared for you today a new video from our educational series, where the one and only Pat Kim Fernandez will share with us some of her secrets and teach us how to do a puppy show trim and tips for trimming a full coat Lhasa Apso. Hope you enjoy this video and share it with as many Lhasa lovers as you know. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms to be up to date with our Lhasa news. Hope to see you in the next video. And if you have any recommendations or suggestions for our next educational video, please let us know. We will be happy to hear from you. From our Highland Shore True Riverview family to yours, happy holidays and many blessings for a wonderful new year. Stay safe. This puppy, I, um, who is just eight months old. She was in our former videos when she was eight weeks old, and this was kind of our pick puppy. So she's going to get trimmed today, which is going to make a little difference in how the outline looks. But we wanted you to see what she looks like at this stage. And she pretty much has turned out the way I thought she might. So, whenever I'm doing these feet, I make sure they're clean. Get real close. I want to make sure that they're clean, that the dog is standing in a four square position. I want to make sure this hair is all combed. I use two types of scissors. And it helps if they hold still. <laughs> I use two types of scissors. I use a straight, this is a seven inch, and I use a slightly curved. I always use slightly curved on feet. Can you see the shape of that? Okay. Yeah, this is also seven inches. Stand, puppy. Stay. Good girl. So, if I have her in a four square position, we talked about that. I'm basically going to trim an outline first and pick up and clean up underneath that with my curved stay. Scissors with one side on the ground. I'm going to actually take an almost straight trim across the front. And I'm going to make a gentle curve all the way around from there. And you can see that I'm absolutely laying on the table with one side as a guide. And I'm going to take that all the way around, even on the inside, to get that round shape. Her feet could turn out a little bit, but we're going to make it look like they don't at all. So you see what we're doing there? I'm going to comb it down, go back and pick up little hairs that I might have missed. Again, one blade down on the table, and I'm using my curves stand. I'm going to pick this up and comb it down now. And I'm going to see these little hairs stay. I'm going to go around and just take that off. And I'm going to smooth off the bottom of this foot all the way around the front. So that when I pick it up, again, I'm going to make sure I have the right shape, one side on the ground again, and I'm just going to pick up what I missed. My straight scissors, I tend to lift this up and clean everything off flat. A little bit behind the pads, the back pad, I actually trim out between the pads. But when you look at it from the top, you can see that it's pretty much beveled off flat and level. And when she stands now, this is untrimmed and this is trimmed. Is my hand in the way? No, you're good. Can you see the difference? Mm -hmm. 
and I go ahead and do the same thing with the other front leg. On the back leg, stay. Same thing, everything is all combed out. Clean hair is better hair to trim, better on your scissors. And I'm gonna make that outline with the curved again. One blade left right on the table. Stay. And I'm going all the way around. Stay. Good girl. Good puppy. And you have to just chase them around sometimes. It helps if they were on a grooming arm. So I've taken it off just like this along the head. I'm going to pick this up, take the point off of it. I'm going to clean it off flat. So my actual back foot is going to look oval shaped, shorter in the front, longer in the back. More fat egg shaped actually, because all of this hair here needs to be removed. Even if this was a coat to the floor, I would still trim tightly at the floor and everything else would meet it. Again, one of that on the ground. So when you lift it up, you don't see toes pointing in or out. You see them just going straight forward. And I do that all the way around. This one is trimmed. See how it looks like it's absolutely going in the right direction, not turning in or out. Okay. This is the other puppy eight months old. This is the bigger one of the two you, you guys, Joelle and Polly out of Polly and Danny and this was our second pick puppy from the eight week old video so I'm going to go back go ahead and take a good shot of this I'm going to start with my curved and I'm going to straighten out all this hair you can see all this out on the sides that's going to come off again I'm trimming with one one stay I'm also got this puppy in a grooming noose because she has to learn how to stand still and this is one of the best ways to do it so that she doesn't think the grooming table means lay down all the time especially with trimming we have to trust that she's gonna not move around too much i swear every loss it has more hair on the show side than ever on the other side so I'm taking the whole front of this foot off so that when she moves away she doesn't look like she's towing out basically little secret there and I'm cleaning this off so you get a good view of her pads when she moves away basically it's going to be shorter in the front longer to the rear it's kind of a fat oval I'm going to do the same thing with this one Everything's coming off the front. I'm gonna meet that line there. I'm 
we're just going to go around the side, come to the front and let this meet. I'm going to come on that side so you can see what I, did, what I just did. I'll come over here. I have to do the same thing over here. So, took everything off the front. And I'm just going to try to do this. So that hair on the outside really doesn't need to be exaggerated in any way. We're talking about tails and tail sets and how I trim. I never trim below this line. It's always a diamond shape. I often do it with my little clipper just to the each side of the tail stay and just above you don't want to really make a big bullseye out of it you just want to clean it so that you can see where that tail set on the outline comes out of the body if that were really wrong and low it wouldn't make that same picture this is a nice tail but this I love this tail when she was eight weeks old see how it hooks up and drops to one side makes a nice even arch without being too high or too flat. Changes the picture on the side completely if they're too flat. Okay, let's go to this front. You are going to do the same thing here, Dan. Good girl. She's groomed in a grooming arm, so see the difference about not having to wrestle with her? I'm going to comb everything down. My curved, I'm going to do the outside line first. Stay steadying my scissors with one blade actually on the table top. Oops. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Uh uh. Stand. We're kind of working in the motorhome remote at the only dog show we've all gotten to go to this year so far. So, I'm going to pick this up and do the same thing. I'm going to stay. Good girl. You're very nice. She doesn't like her nails trimmed. I'm doing flat shears again to clean this off. Stay. It sounds like a nail clipper to her. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing over here. All this on the front's coming off. I'm going to just finish it. Okay, girl, stand. I can never tie these fancy leashes up on. Good girl. Okay, so I still have to look at it from the front, take off all those little points that we've missed, running the comb through it again, and just even it up. I got a little carried away over here, looks like. You just have to practice this and less is more taking it off so you don't overdo it. They're not cockers. They shouldn't have cocker feet. So see how I kind of fix that? This is the other puppy. And that's how her bite turned out. Hi, baby. She's got a lot of four chests. She's really, really made well. I, I thought this would happen. I didn't think she'd be the most elegant of the two, but she just had such a sound body and she just still does. And here's the planes on the head. They have beautiful eyes. And fall away. And the ears are absolutely at the level of, are coming up right at the level of the eye. Good girl. And that's what we got. 
eight months old. I'm going to do the last little tips off the back and I'm going to come around. I'm going to do both so that I meet this. At the same length. I made the turn around. And then I'm going to bring her over here to the side of this table. Stay. And I'm going to hang all of this off the edge. And I'm going to use my straight shears. And I'm just going to take off the last half inch and even it up. Here it's a little shorter still, so I'm going to even up this so that that center doesn't look so obviously off compared to what's over her hips and over her shoulders. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this back foot, all of this hair from the hawk up. I'm going to pick it up from the hawk. Everything's up. And I'm only going to trim below that with my curved scissors again. I'm just going to do the line all the way around. and getting that shape. Even if it were a short puppy coat, it's the same shape, it's just underneath this. And I'm gonna drop this. Stand. And I'm gonna give it one more trim just to meet what I just did underneath. Stay. My straight chair is going into the side. Okay, I'm going to pick this up because I'm going to have that same shape out of this foot. I'm going to remove the hair in front of the toes like this on the front of the foot and flatten that out. And I'm going to just even this off all the way around. So I have that more or less shorter here, longer in the back. And I'm going to trim it so it gets flat. So there's not a lot of hair to trip on. Stop. Okay. And I'm going to do that with both rear feet. And you're going to see pads as she walks away. I'm going to do the other rear leg. So pick everything up from above the hawk. Comb everything else down. And I'm going to go in here with one blade against the table, and I'm going to take that off. I'm going to comb this down. So I don't want to make layers out of this. Stand. I don't want to make layers out of this. I want to bring the top coat to where I just trimmed off that other. She has more hair on this side. So I'm going to go back and trim all of this excess off, especially this off the front of the foot. Stand. Don't pull so hard on that. That might keep her from not wanting to, you know, reaction to the reaction. Yeah. 
just su support it. <coughs> this is not laying it over the table. I'm actually just trimming it off flat against this. So you really just trim the longer outer coat, even with what you're trimming underneath. Okay, we're gonna work on the front. So this is the same thing. We're making that outer line with the curved again. Get this to lay on the ground. You just take it from the tips a little bit at a time. Don't go in there like a cocker. Just take little by little. Less is more, always. I'm using my straights on the straights. Sides of the side coat. And I'm meeting that. When the hair is wispy and thin on the ends like that, if you keep them trimmed, that makes them look fuller. It helps them grow out to be fuller and not so damaged and wispy. She has to turn her head this way, otherwise she gets trimmed the wrong way. So I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to make a line. Day. I'm going to bring the next layer down and I'm going to trim that to meet it. You got to make sure that her head stays up because if she's hanging her head down, you're going to have layers and you don't want that to happen. And I'm really just trimming off the edges. And I'm going to pick that up. that foot up looking down at it I want to go around the edge don't want it to look pointed I want it to be nice and round and I'm also going to go up and clean off all this hair on the front of the toes that's hanging over it's like way too much and just even this off I mean I, we see glosses with too much hair on their feet and they trip over it so basically we're taking that off flat also And when I'm all done, I'm going to bring it down, comb it out, and go over it again. Always, I just guide myself with one blade running on the table to steady my clip trim. I don't know why I do that, but it just works. So, trimmed and untrimmed. If you don't have the best moving front, we don't want to trim this too much tighter than this. The shorter you cut it, the more obvious the movement is going to be good or bad. If it's good, moderate's best. So here we go again around the ends. I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to take everything off the front. Here's the toenails. All this extra doesn't have to be here. I'm going to make sure I have it nice and squared off. Okay. I'm going to comb everything down again. Stand. Good dog. 
So that chest hair is going to get blended into this also. It's not quite, she's young. This is not quite down enough. And when I drop her into place, I pretty much have the same thing. Stay. So I'm going to look at this and see that I have much more hair on this side. 